Hey, welcome back everyone. Toysh is here and I'm coming to you live from a Toy Fair 2023. But do keep in mind as of this video, Toy Fair officially starts on September 30th. But Hasbro had a bit of a off-site event and I don't want to get anybody's hopes up, right? This is going to show you exactly what they had on display. It's really just a bunch of things that they've already shown, things they may have recently shown, and just to kind of get a better understanding of what they look like in hand, if anything. So for Star Wars, they really went with Ahsoka. You got a little three and three quarter inch action and whatnot. Now, most of these, as far as the Black Series go, have already started to hit store shelves. If you're looking for them, Walmart's got them first, Target is starting to get them. It'll all be in conjunction with that October 1st reset new toy aisle dates, right? So again, I've even found some of the newer Black Series at Walmart, so keep an eye if you're looking for those. They had some of the vintage collection out, Ahsoka and Hera and whatnot, for me, and I'm... I'm saying this knowing full well a lot of people go, what the heck are these things? I'm very much pick and choosy with Star Wars these days, right? I did enjoy Ahsoka at first. Not so much anymore. It's kind of lost me, to be quite honest with you. However, I'm a big fan of holiday toys. And I love when they do these Christmas Star Wars The Black Series figures. So if you've always wondered who the heck's buying them, me. I like these. And when you have them all laid out for a nice Christmas display... Well, they look pretty darn cool, if you ask me. But what's better uh, than a snowman snowtrooper, right? Or a Jawa and a red Santa suit, a Porg. It's cornball. I get it. But I do enjoy this. And like I said, that's, that's really where I'm at with Star Wars these days. So that was really it as far as six-inch figures. They did show off the N1 Starfighter from the Vintage Collection. They did have this at San Diego Comic-Con. This is also starting to hit store shelves and shipping out. They had the Scout Trooper on display. It's nice to kind of see it in person because you can only see so many photos and videos, right? It's kind of all blends together. You need to see it live uh, in your hands. The Bounty Collection, that's the new wave of those Groku blind bag figures. Mix and Moods Grogu. You had the headdress for Ahsoka. Again, a lot of this stuff... We've already seen it. It was kind of a way for Hasbro really to kind of do anything. A lot of companies, I feel like, were kind of thrown to the wayside a bit with a fall-ish toy fair. You know what I mean? Whereas it's supposed to be around February, March. That's usually when they have the toy fair so that it shows you everything that comes out for the year. Hasbro has revealed a ton of stuff lately from Hascon to San Diego Comic-Con and a few of those fan events that they do live on their YouTube channel. So, yeah. It honestly was the bare bones minimum. Maybe a few things here and there we haven't seen. Transformers, Rise of the Beasts, they had a few figures on display. Again, it was cool to see sort of kind of new product in hand. The new Optimus Primal that has a command feature. You get to talk with it. It transforms. It does all that cool stuff. Kids will probably enjoy it most of all. It's more of a kid's toy as opposed to a collector's toy. They did have the characters on display from Rise of the Beasts. Pete Davidson, <laughs> of course. Then you had the more studio series Transformers, which they look very detailed out. I myself, Transformers 86, through and through. I haven't even gotten a chance to see the new Rise of the Beasts movie, but I've heard mixed things. I know about the ending. I get it. They're going to do a full Hasbro universe, whatever. But uh, yeah, it's, again, cool to see these on display. But as you're watching this, I'm sure you're going, oh, are you going to get to some new stuff? No, not really. But I will be showing you some new uh, Spider-Man figures that they just recently revealed that will show you a little bit of a close-up look. I did like this sweatshirt. I thought that was kind of cool. Terracons. That kind of stood out. <laughs> We're here for toys, and I'm admiring... The sweatshirt. They had a few of the Bumblebee uh, from the Transformers movie. Like, this is his triple changer mode where he kind of goes beast mode. I was like, spoilers, right? I haven't seen it yet, but yeah, <laughs> we're all good. No problemos. And I have to say, 
everyone at the event, the Hasbro employees and whatnot, they did a great job at kind of showing this off. It was not the usual crowd that you see on YouTube. It was mainly the people behind the scenes, which was very refreshing. Very cool to meet all those people and to uh, talk about them. They really didn't answer a whole lot of questions. I had questions. I pulled questions. I know that you guys have been asking about certain brands and lines. And to be honest with you, it was just mainly like, I'm not the one to talk to you about this, right? So I totally get it. But being that it's Toy Fair, kind of works to you know, ask some questions, you know what I mean? And kind of make the fans a little bit more interactive, at least uh, through this fashion. But again, Transformers Rise of the Beasts. This was probably the coolest thing. And to kind of see it, because when I, I saw the initial solicitations, it's a Transformer that turns into the mask. I don't know why I think that that's really cool. That's something that's very outside the box to me. So I appreciate it for being just kind of wackadoo and also being a toy that I would have loved as a kid. Transformers Earth Spark for those of you out there that are collecting that. Again, this, I'm going to say primarily, was pretty much the only new-ish type stuff, at least stuff that I was unaware of at the time. Now, when I go to the toy aisles, I look at everything. I like to see everything on display, what's coming out, what should be coming out soon. These are a few combiners, right? So you can mix and match them at your leisure. There's really no one way to do it. It acts as a little bit of a customizable ability, right? But again, these are geared more towards the children, the younger crowd. I know some adults that grab these, right? You know who you are out there. But like I said, some new things at least for Earth Spark. And I'm sure a lot of you out there are going, okay, uh, that's nice and all. What, what about Marvel, right? What do you got uh, in terms of Marvel? Well, they had a big Marvel banner, of course, but they did show off that within the three and three quarter inch range, right? They've had Spider-Man, they had Guardians of the Galaxy, they had X-Men 97, and now they're going to be doing Avengers for 2024. And I did ask, okay, is this replacing X-Men 97, Spider-Man and whatnot? They didn't have the answers. They just said, well, this will be out for 2024. So as of right now, uh, yeah, Avengers for 2024 in this three and three quarter inch line. So for those of you out there going to collect it, they kind of made it uh, known that they went with the most iconic sort of looks that you can look at them and go, okay, that's Black Panther, that's Thor, that's Falcon. You get the idea, right? Basic stuff, Thanos, he comes with the Infinity Gauntlet. And for Marvel Legends, they had a little bit of a display that showed off the recently revealed Spider-Man No Way Home figures. So you got to see Willem Dafoe in all his homeless Green Goblin action. Very detailed out figure. You have the glider. Comes with the Doctor Strange box and the Goblin mask and the goggles. And it's cool. I'm really happy for people that are stoked on these. And it really does show that people are very happy with these overall and for me, I like the movie when it came out. Does it do anything for me now? No, not really. They do look great, but they're definitely not on my radar. More Spider-Man animated, right? MJ, she was on display, along with the final swing, Peter Parker. If I'm being honest, I don't think that they specifically captured the look of that suit. That was such a cool-looking suit. I would have definitely grab that one if it was a little bit more spot on for me they did have the andrew garfield spider-man now they're calling this of course the amazing spider-man amazing spider-man 2 whatnot uh i think they really nailed that likeness i think that one is the best looking one the suit overall it comes with the mask and the hands you also have the friendly neighborhood spider-man that of course being the toby mcguire figure again very cool i remember when all these came out years ago with that very first spider-man they've definitely made improvements i will say and for those of you out there i did ask about the cards why they chose specific artwork specific movies they really didn't have an answer so my thinking would be the basic of they didn't have the rights or the likeness or whatever it has to be placed under that specific brand for spider-man and then you have these spider-man web splasher figures that are so toy biz to me i mean that is an amazing looking spider slayer right if that thing was all uh, one solid color or made to look like the tarantula from spider-man the animated series that's very cool i'm very uh, happy with what i see here for the kiddos right it harkens back to toy biz days for me they implemented nerf and they got water gun squirt in action and projectiles I love that. So more of this, right? Especially with Marvel toys. So that'll wrap it up. Thank you very much for watching and stay tuned for the rest of the weekend. We got a whole lot more at Toy Fair 2023 coverage coming. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.